when I say someone is my friend, I'm not thinking business. Mm -hmm. If you're my friend, you're my friend. Now, whether business or not, okay? Now, um, if, if there are also people you'll be with, acquaintances will, will may, maybe say friends. Mm -hmm. You might use the word friends. Mm -hmm. But you know that, okay, this is because I'm trying to get something. Mm -hmm. To me, I feel like they're different things. Now, if I'm talking about friends, they are friends. Uh, and I, that's why I'm asking directly, like, would you but, leave your friends? I'm not talking about business partners. No, honestly, people. Movie, I still stand by what I say. Okay. Yes, I would leave that friend. Because to be honest with you, everyone wants a better life. So it's okay if your Just friends like leave you said. because they're doing better than you. Is that going to well, be no okay? No problem. Right? I'm happy for them. Seriously, this is very, very okay for me. Because think, when you call to me for help and I can't offer, yeah. we can't just be looking at I each other. I think those friends are even sticking no, to when I because we are the best. Exactly. Yeah, so, 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 so I will be friends yeah, for benefit. So, yeah. Do you understand? I still stand by wow. what I stand by. <laughs> yes, I will move on. Because to be honest with you, everyone wants to grow. Do you get? Don't worry, when I get to the top, I'll pull you up. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So Those so are our friends. Uh, so at really? that point, I need to leave you alone. Really? You yes. pull, but, wait, but honestly, <laughs> does it really work that people get to the top and pull people they've left? Because by the time you leave, you have other friends that yeah. are there. You have other responsibilities when you have more. So how do you, are you really going to remember that person? I just look at it that I'm just lucky to see the vision. I also pray for you to also quickly see the video. <laughs> no, that's the truth. That, that's what I was talking about. Um, mm -hmm. Me not buying that part of leaving your friends behind or abandoning your friends. Because if you're going further, you should be able to go forward and clear a path. And if you really care about that friendship, you should lend them a hand. Mm -hmm. there. So it's not you leaving your friend. Well, it's not even compulsory. <laughs> you know, I am it's not compulsory, yeah, but yeah, if, not how would you feel if those rich people mm -hmm. up there don't give you a hand? You know what? Trying but to that's why all fingers are not equal. Wait, but you know what? That's why we have classes <laughs> of wealth. Okay. We have the uh, low class, we have the middle class, we have the middle high class, we have the middle low class, so we have the But what I would say, if mm -hmm. you want to build friendship, build, you should not build friendship based on financial status. Exactly. And Otherwise, you will suffer. You, you should build based on personality. That is why and I, integrity. If you want to, so if you have yes. a friend that has integrity, you can actually build friendship with that person, whether they are bitter or less. Yeah, because there are people we need in this life that might not necessarily give us all the money we want. The, the one, like, like, that, the, yeah. like imagine, yeah. to take so, your clothes off the of mind. Yeah, yeah, so what we Bro, need... Even your neighbor that you're having a good relationship with, she does not necessarily have to be your friend, she can do it. Uh, I do so, it for my neighbors. She's not my, you're not my friend, but, but I do it for them. But you need you this. Know? That one is being a brother's keeper. Okay. Yeah, you need friends. So, so you, you said something about, um, okay, you're okay if your friends leave you, but you know, most people, or some people have issues. That's why you hear like, ah, Immediately, the person made it now because they don't have money. They don't, they don't. They stop talking to the other person. Reminds me of a clip, a movie <laughs> clip I saw today. I think it was Jim. I uh, no, uh, no, not him, not him. Uh, I'm trying to remember this guy. Light skin in the movie. I think Mike is wearing one of them. Uh, and he was, <laughs> he gave left him because he didn't have money. <laughs> I'm going by someone else. And then she left him for a while before she got married. Now, on the day of the marriage, <laughs> the other guy had made it. And he came in with a babe carrying a box of money. Yeah, well. And he came to... <laughs> And you know, he just kept spreading, like, see, I've made it. The lady gets him, I couldn't even dance. Oh. Just as one was dancing, just staring, like, he's the person I left because he didn't have and stuff like that. And so that's the reason why I said it's okay to leave because those other people too would still make it. Like, for me, I don't think um, um, friendship should be attached to. Uh, staying or living. I said, okay, let me just give you a layman's example. For instance, you live in a neighborhood where you're renting an apartment. Mm -hmm. Then, um, God so kind, you were able to build your own house. Let's assume you live in that neighborhood for, let's say, 15 years. Okay. You have made a lot of friends, you've made a lot of acquaintances, you've made a lot of friends that have even turned family. Do you mm -hmm. understand? So, you are about to be free from being <laughs> a tenant to becoming a landlord yourself. So, because you want to stick to friendship you will not stay in that rented apartment like well, you can live and visit them i know why like, that, that's the same thing i can also leave the clinic and visit yeah. you but she's the movie the and just the stopped. example she gave of the movie that other one too also picked up his groove and also made it so can you see that i didn't did this life where all every man for himself you came to this world alone you're going back alone do you get so it's every man for himself and whatever you're hustling for whatever you're looking for is for yourself Mm. Are you understand what I'm trying to say to you? You have a wife or you have a husband or you have children, you have responsibilities, let me just call it in general. 
with friendship pay the bills. Mm-hmm. Are you understand what I'm trying? Yes, friendship but, goals but, are important. But can she can she still have that friendship and still get your bills paid? Do you have to leave a friend, not a group, a friend because you are trying to make money? Can can you have that friend there and then still have the richer ones as that friends? Has, well, you won't have time for the other one now. You don't okay, need to. Let's assume that maybe okay, yeah. you and I, as friends, we speak, let's say, every day, or at least let's say we speak like three times a week, or we meet up to mm-hmm. hang out, let's say, once a week. Now, when I make new friends, don't forget that my plate is fuller. Maybe before it was just you, so I had all the time for you. But the moment maybe I meet Rose, I meet the next person, and then these other people were working together, you know, then maybe I won't have time for you again because the time I'm supposed to spend with you, I'm not spending with these no, new people. So that living self can be invincible. It's because I don't have money. <laughs> If not, you won't tell me that you won't have time for me again. No, but then, I don't, you know, yeah. I don't know, even in school those days, no, we made friends. When you come in freshman year, you know, first year grad, um, uh, undergraduate, you make friends, maybe the friends that you even came from secondary school with. You know it happens that, that, mm-hmm. that, 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 that way most of the time. But when gradually, uh, the heat is beginning to reach out to you guys in the department, and you now begin to realize that this person is more intelligent than the group of friends you have, Ovi say the truth didn't you make friends because of the way intelligent and you want to pass exams honestly truth no you didn't <laughs> i had intelligent friends i okay. had not non-intelligent friends yeah, that's what I was but then you I became had. but then you became friends with these intelligent ones because you needed their help you needed <laughs> their assistance <laughs> no oh you never did okay good for no you. not because i needed their help somehow there were not even many of them okay. i had my group of friends in school okay from when we started till we left Okay. Still, still but then friends. it's not always but, like but I still had other friends yeah, on yeah. but you know, it's not always yeah. like that for everybody there, so, are, there are a group of friends you might have at the beginning like they, they are not there yet do you understand or probably those group of friends might even okay like let me give myself let me give an example like I had this very close friend because I started university with um, remedials I started with remedials so I had very good friends in the remedials but when they came to um, put us in different departments we all separated me, okay. I went to mathematics department. My best friend then was in pharmacy. So automatically, Science that changed. I think that from. So automatically, I had to make new friends in mathematics department. She had to also make good new friends in pharmacy. You got to the point I would see each other, I just, hi, hi, and everybody passes. Like, deep down, I still love her. Deep down, I believe she also still loved me. But then we had to go separate ways because we were now pursuing different dreams, different okay. aspirations. So it happens that way too. We leave your friends and go and make richer friends. So mm-hmm. that you can also attain a higher a height, status, right. exactly. But you know, it's all, it's, it's it's actually good to have Living have these richer friends. Anyway. I, I don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's something she said. She said that circle has expired. That circle like has that. expired. You don't. Okay. You don't say a circle has expired because I'm now the richest. For example, when she cited school, I was privileged to be, let's say, the most brilliant in my class in okay. secondary school. So, okay, if I was the most brilliant, who would I not make friends with at the top? So, hmm. I made friends with almost everybody that could reach out to me, that could connect with me. So, I feel friendship is about connection. Whoever connects with you can be called your friend, whether they are rich, whether they are poor, or whatever. But I just, I just don't make useless friends because there are friends that are there that they don't, you add, down. Yeah, they don't add nothing to your life. They're just there. Uh, you hear what happen for these streets. Those kind of friends are just irrelevant in your life. You shouldn't make such friends. Obviously, yeah, you're a serious but minded person. You can't make like kind of friends. I'm an entrepreneur yeah. and I'm trying so hard to break into another circle. Yeah, mm-hmm. at this my level. But it doesn't stop me from making friends with these other people at my level right now. Or making friends with people the way that I mean. Because there's something to when they, you have lower people hailing you, boss, boss, boss. You understand? It pushes you up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you just have people that sees you as friends, like, and they are above you, you might just be struggling to come out of a circle. You might just always be there. Because it's very hard breaking into a rich circle that you are not, like, you didn't grow up with. Is hard for them to see you as friends. You might end up becoming their own errand person. Exactly. What yes, was in my you, mind. Do, you might end up being the errand boy to just buy their love. You might end up being the errand boy. Like, eh, Rose, whereas you have a circle of friends that respects you. That yes. respects. So I feel what you do is mingle with everybody. Have people you run errands for. Have people that will run errands for you. That's what balances the life. Okay. Yeah. But at, at the same time, we can say friendship is about like minds, right? Personality. Yeah. Yes. What if your goal, your your aspiration in life is just money? 
Like, see, eh? So you look for people married? See, eh? You see, I don't need to be a uh, rose was saying, what do you go and be errand boy? Mm. For me, I feel whatever situation you need to pay your dues. Mm. You're where you are today, Ovi, because you've paid your dues. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So that, that, definitely any journey that has um, good prospects is not easy. You understand? Nothing good comes easy. That's the general. Okay, let me even quickly add, like, um, see this guy, Two Face Edivia. You know, at the beginning, he, he was in a group called Plantation, Plantation. Boys, about three mm. of them. Now, when the deal came, from Kenny's music those days. The deal was meant for only him. Kenny's music just wanted him. Do you understand? Because in the group, he was almost like the vocalist. Do you understand? Okay, the other guy was the rapper, the other guy was like the solo, the, that kind of thing. So it was for him. Now, him and those other guys, eh? They grew up together. These are guys that I think I was privileged to meet them when they were much younger then. But he had to leave. Now, down the line, do you know one of these boys in the group, I don't want to call the name, was suffering serious financial problems? Do you know he was one that footed the guy's bills? Yes, at the beginning it was a lot of, he betrayed his friends, story, story, story. But the other day he saw an opportunity and he grabbed it. He knew that that childhood friendship, that plantation boys, have expired. Mm -hmm. Even much later when he has become big already on his own, one of the group members still wanted them to come together as plantation boys. And he said no. He has way outgrown plantation boys. So what are you saying? I'm going to say two things, he's bad, he's evil. Or, I don't know how, you know what I'm trying to say to you. And he has always extended a hand of friendship to them. Do you get? Uh -huh. But they felt that he betrayed them. So in the real sense, did he really, really betray them? Okay, so let's listen again to this and then we'll open the phone lines. Mm -hmm. So that's right. Butler, Baker, connected prisoners. 